Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and we are here live at Hadoop Summit 2013. We're here at the San Jose Convention Center, two days of Hadoop Summit, uh, the big open source community uh, sponsored by a number of folks, but, but headlined, by, of course, by Hortonworks. Uh, and this is theCUBE, where we go to the events, we extract the signal from the noise, we bring you the absolute best guests that are attending these events. We pick their brains, we package up information and share it with you, our audience. I'm Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly of Wikibon.org. John Furrier is on his way down from a meeting in San Francisco. And we will be covering wall to wall two days of Hadoop Summit. A lot of action here. We're seeing the Hadoop community maturing. We're hearing a lot about Yarn, yet another resource. Uh, manager, <laughs> not the greatest acronym. <laughs> I thought it was an N. It <laughs> is an N, actually, which is why it doesn't. <laughs> so <laughs> doesn't we'll talk about why the world it's needs yet another resource manager. And um, but we're talking about uh, the maturation of Hadoop. Last year, Jeffrey Moore gave a talk on the whole notion of crossing the chasm. The 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 senior executives here up on stage, uh, folks like Rob Bearden, Rob Bearden, and uh, Sean Connolly, are putting forth this notion that. Hadoop has crossed the chasm. You know, we're going to talk about that, we're going to unpack that and, and check that out. Uh, so we were in the keynotes this morning. Uh, Rob Bearden, the CEO of Hortonworks, gave a, a keynote. Rob is a longtime CEO of open source companies like JVoss and Spring. Um, Merv, at Merv from Gartner, Merv Adrian gave a great talk, uh, talking about some data that he just published, a uh, survey. The notable pieces of that survey, Jeff Kelly, 31% of the people have no plans to do anything around big data. And then of course, Sean Conley talked about the modern data architecture, which again, I want to talk to you about, Jeff. He, he drew a sort of slide that showed the applications up top, uh, showed the data sources down below, like you know, SQL databases, uh, and, 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 and basically the data in the middle, uh, layer in the middle, and then basically showed uh, Hadoop as a bolt-on to that, which was kind of interesting, so sending forth forth the message that we're not going to have to rip and replace to actually make this thing work. So you were into the keynotes. Uh, what are some of your thoughts? And then we'll break down some of the news that we've, we're hearing today from a number of folks in the Hadoop ecosystem. Well, I think the, the key message that um, Hortonworks wants to get across in this conference is that Hadoop is growing up. Um, Herb uh, Kunitz, the president of Hortonworks, mentioned in his uh, opening keynote um, that really the, the, the baby elephant uh, is, is quickly growing up into a, into a large, robust adult elephant. Um, so the idea here, of course, is that uh, Hadoop is, is ready for the enterprise. And uh, the key is, according to uh, some of the speakers we heard this morning, uh, is to enable the community, the open source community, to continue innovating and uh, building out the core Hadoop, uh, the, the core components of Hadoop, HDFS, MapReduce, now Yarn. Uh, keeping that open source, that was a very key message coming through loud and clear. Uh, from uh, the, the Hortonworks executives who spoke this morning, including Rob Bearden, uh, CEO of Hortonworks. Uh, so this, this show is all about uh, making Hadoop enterprise ready, continuing that journey, um, adding uh, components, uh, or I should say more, more than a component, really a fundamental new um, core pillar of Hadoop called Yarn, uh, yet another resource manager. Negotiator, actually. Negotiator, there we yeah, are. Yeah, there's your end. Um, so adding that component or that that core pillar to the uh, to the two others in, in Hadoop, uh, that those two others being HDFS and MapReduce, uh, really enabling new types of applications on top of Hadoop, uh, so that Hadoop can can really serve as a core enterprise data platform that you can run multiple applications, have a lot of concurrent users, um, that you can manage that environment in a way that. They all perform at optimal Let's levels. talk about that a little bit. So Yarn is designed to solve the problem that, that MapReduce is essentially a single job stream, right? So right. Yarn allows you to run multiple job streams, schedule multiple jobs uh, in tandem. So we heard some data today that uh, Yahoo runs 30,000 nodes, 400,000 jobs a day, uh, and 10 million compute hours per day in Yarn. The significance of that is it's 2x the amount of work that they can do on the same exact hardware. So that's the point of, of Yarn, right? It allows you to do a lot more with less, right? It allows you to do a lot more with less. It allows you to uh, really manage those resources. So in, in a lot of uh, early Hadoop environments, if you were to run an H-based application, for instance, that would take up a lot of the resources in, on your cluster, and you really couldn't do much else with your Hadoop cluster if you're running an H-based application. 
Um, so basically what Yarn allows you to do is run that HBase application, but because it manages the resources more efficiently, you can also maybe run a graph uh, uh, analytics job. You can potentially run uh, you know, a SQL type job with Hive or Tez. So really it allows you to uh, deploy multiple applications simultaneously on your Hadoop cluster, make better use of those uh, hardware resources, and really again make it a true data platform rather than just a, uh, a single use case um, application. So we're also hearing um, a lot of news today. I know that uh, uh, you're hearing a lot of partnerships with Hortonworks. Uh, Teradata's got some news, Wandisco's got some news. Uh, uh, Fusion IO and MapR, MapR's got some news. What, what are you hearing out there? What's the news of the day? Well, there's, yeah, there's a lot. Uh, as, as often happens on the first day of conferences like this, there's just a flood of press releases that uh, hit the wire at 9 a.m. Um, so yeah, there's a lot to wade through, but I think some of the, the highlights are a couple that you mentioned. So let's talk about Hortonworks first. They, uh, they're announcing uh, a, a, a few things. So uh, community preview HDP, uh, a Yarn certification program, uh, there's also a joint announcement between uh, Teradata and Hortonworks, where Teradata will now be reselling the Hortonworks data platform uh, in a number of form factors, including uh, a Teradata appliance for Hadoop. Um, you mentioned MapR, they uh, have partnered with Fusion IO to uh, the, res the, the net result really being a significant uh, improvement in performance uh, of the MapR uh, Hadoop distribution and, and the applications you can run on top of uh, MapR's M7 distribution, uh, thanks to some of the flash-enabled hardware that uh, Fusion IO brings to the table. Um, Wandisco, another uh, company in the Hadoop market, announced today a, a, number of, uh, a number of things, including their latest, the latest iteration of their distribution, which includes some tools to really make it easy for customers that want to uh, maybe have started experimenting with Hadoop on uh, Amazon Web Services and want to migrate that internal to internal with S3, so they got uh, global namespace, the S3 piece, right. they got some in-memory stuff that they're doing, uh, right, and then a the new things. Hadoop distro. A lot of things happening there. And Wendisk, a very interesting company, we'll have them on later. Sure. Uh, um, so yeah, so a lot, a, lot, a lot happening in the news. Um, you know, all, all, most of the companies here have, have announcements, they've, they've timed them to, to, to fit so with this So let's uh, take a conference. look, Jeff, at our schedule today. So we, we're yeah, going to sure. kick off, John Furrier is on his way down from San Francisco uh, from a meeting. Uh, Rob Bearden's coming on right after this kickoff in just a couple minutes, about five minutes here. Arun Murthy, who's the founder and architect of Hortonworks. David Richards, the CEO and co-founder of Wandisco. They got uh, three or four announcements today. Uh, Intel is coming on, Merv is coming on, Amar Awadala of Cloudera, person who's been here from the beginning of this big data and Hadoop movement. Sanjay Mehta, who's the vice president of product marketing at Splunk. Splunk is really doing some amazing things. Anjul Bombri, Vice President of Big Data and Streams at IBM. Streams is a very interesting new capability. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a, in a moment. Uh, Scott Now from Teradata Labs is coming on. Brian Bukowski, very innovative startup uh, called Aerospike. Jana Ulig is coming on. She's the CEO of HStreaming, a company that was essentially spun out of IBM's labs, the streaming technology. They're taking that to the new level. So this is actually, Work, a actually making decisions on data before it gets persisted. Um, I also want to do a, uh, well first of all, go to siliconangle.com, check out all the news. Go to wikibon.org, check out all the research. Siliconangle.tv is where you can see all these live broadcasts. We've got multiple channels going on uh, a as well. Go to youtube.com slash siliconangle. You can see all the playlists from all the events that we do. Uh, and I also want to give a shout out to our sponsors, of course, we're here in a large part because of Hortonworks. They've built this fantastic stage for us uh, and really the anchor sponsor of this event. Um, Teradata, Nutanix, Squirrel, Hadapt, MapR, Splunk, Wandisco, Cloudera, Cubol, and HStreaming. Thank you so much for allowing us uh, to bring you uh, the coverage from events like this and generally and specifically the Hadoop Summit. So Jeff, what are you looking for uh, for the next two days? What should observers be paying attention to you? To what are the kinds of things that are going to excite you? Well, I want to hear a lot more about Yarn, of course. Um, really, Yarn has, uh, has the potential to uh, really allow Hadoop to take the next step in terms of its ability to, to be a real fundamental um, data platform in the enterprise. So I want to hear about uh, a little bit more around the details of how that's going to happen. Uh, the state of Yarn as it stands now, it's a, you know, a three year effort that uh, Arun Murthy at Hortonworks has undertaken really leading that project. So he's been heads down on that for three years. Uh, so we're going to have Arun on later today to talk about that. 
you know, want to hear from a lot of the supporting uh, players in the ecosystem, how they're going to leverage Yarn uh, to actually uh, up, uh, help create and apply their, their applications on top of Hadoop. So those are the th some of the things I want to hear. And of course, at a big ecosystem conference like this, I want to hear about the partnerships and what's going on between vendors. Uh, we, we heard during the keynotes this morning uh, from CEO Rob Bearden that clearly this is, uh, is going to take the entire ecosystem, a community effort really, to improve Hadoop, to really make it a core uh, part of the uh, enterprise IT infrastructure. So want to hear from those vendors, want to hear how they're, how they're working together. At the same time, a lot of them are, are, are uh, competing. So that will be interesting. And, uh, and again, the, the news items, other things we didn't mention, of course, uh, Hortonworks announcing $50 million of new funding. Uh, so that's something we'll talk to CEO Rob Bearden about. Companies like Datamir announced uh, their 3.0 version of their platform with some what they're calling smart analytic applications. Uh, so there's just a lot of news happening here. Splunk uh, announcing a, a new product called Hunk. Uh, I particularly like that name. Uh, basically Splunk Analytics on Hadoop. So lots of news to cover, lots of developments, uh, both on the business side and the technical side. Um, and of course, the other real thing I'm looking for is to, to hear from practitioners, people who are out in the field using big data, using Hadoop, hear what their, uh, what their challenges are, some of their success stories, uh, and really see where this is going inside real enterprises. All right, great, thank you, Jeff. Uh, keep it right there, buddy. So we'll be right back. Rob Bearden's coming up next. We're going to talk about that funding. We're going to talk about this event. Uh, has, has Hadoop crossed the chasm? What needs to be done? He said the two things you got to look for. One is to harden Hadoop, and two is to bring those data services to the market. And he's stressed, we cannot do that alone. It has to be an ecosystem. So we'll be right back with Rob Bearden, John Furrier's joining us. Keep right there, this is theCUBE, live from Hadoop Summit in San Jose.